Hey, what's going on, Gemini's? Butch Cheryl here. I'm gonna do your June monthly read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Happy birthday to all y'all that just had a birthday or have a birthday coming up. We are in that Gemini time of year. Uh, with that being said, let's get it. Universe, what, have to do? what is going on? For with that one in a minute. <laughs> Alright, Gemini's. Alright, Gemini's. The first thing I see The first thing I see is this is someone that you already know. I feel like you have a history with this person. You know, this is someone that you're very conscious of. Now, I feel like with this person, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth energy. I just, I just feel like, and it's not just them. I feel like it's on both sides. I feel like I feel a strong magnetic pull toward each other. But even though there's this strong pull toward each other, I feel like there's a lot of conflict. You know, I feel like there is a lot of, you know, I feel like this is a very off and on type of energy. Like, I feel like there may even be some sort of separation from time to time. But no matter how far you get from each other, you keep getting pulled back. No matter how much one day you may be at the point where you just don't want to see this person again, the next day you want to see them again. And they feel the same way for you. It is a conflict that's very real. And like I said, I feel like even at those moments when it feels like it's all over, it's not. I feel like, I mean, I feel like there's a very passionate energy here. You're very passionate toward each other, but you're also passionate against each other, if you know what I mean. It's, it's almost like this person pisses you off more than anybody else has ever pissed you off, but yet the next day or an hour later, you forget why you're pissed off and this person can get you in the opposite. You know what I mean? In one, one minute you're pissed off, the next minute you just, you can't keep your hands off this person. And I mean, it's just, it's just that energy that keeps flowing back and forth. Now, I feel like this person puts in a lot of effort. But, you know, there's a lot of effort. They put in a lot of work. We got that 10 of wands. They put in a lot of work, but I feel like what pisses you off the most about this person is it's no matter how much work they put in it, it's almost like futile because it's not like the work that you want from them. You know, it's almost like they put in the work when it suits them, but not when it suits you. Like they put in the effort, but it's, it's almost like they do it at the wrong time. It's almost like they put it, the effort in the wrong direction. You want something from this person that they haven't quite scratch the surface of they put in a lot of effort but it's almost like aimlessly you know me you know what i mean they they put in that effort and what pisses them off is they feel like they do put in the effort but they don't get that 
it's almost like every time they put an effort, it's almost like they look for the appreciation for that effort with that King of Wands. You know what I mean? Very passionate, very, very fiery energy around this person. It's almost like they want you to notice when they put in the work. But like I said, it's aimless. It's almost like they, they put the work in, but in the wrong direction. They do the things they think you want them to do, not the things that you actually want them to do. Like they're thinking too much. They're thinking ahead and they're putting in too much effort into what they think you want and not getting to know what you want. If you know what I mean? Like it's almost like they're doing all the things they think are the right things, but they're, they're not doing, you know what I mean? They're doing the things that they think are right. Instead of just having that openness with you and just being able to show up the way you want them to show up. Like they're putting in a lot of effort, but it's in the wrong direction. And it just keeps coming back to that. They just, I just feel like, and when they put in that effort, they get pissy because you don't reciprocate because it's not what you wanted from them. You don't want them to work their ass off, you know, doing the things that they think you want. You want them to appreciate you for you. You want them to do the things that, that makes you better together. Like I said, I feel like this person does put in a lot of effort to try to do the right things, but instead of just just having that conversation and being you know being very open with you and, and and just knowing what you want, I just feel like they fall short. And when they put in the effort for one thing, it's almost like that's not what you wanted. It's great that they're putting in the effort, but sometimes I feel like that effort is a little little too late. It's almost like they only put in the effort when, when you're pissy with them. So it's almost like they're just trying to get themselves out of trouble. You know what I mean? Like, But they do it out of love. That's one thing I really do see here. They do it out of love. You know, I really feel like this person... You, you have a bond with this person that that continuously goes on. You know, we have that lover's card. You have such a deep connection with this person. I feel like... A lot of the issues that you have with this person is I feel like you're very, very much the same. Not exactly the same, but you're, you're a lot alike. And it's almost like you make a point to, to make it obvious what it is that you're lacking when you're mad at them. Like when you've had enough, you're, you come out and you say, listen, this is what's pissing me off. And then that, that's when they put in that effort. But that pisses you off more because they're only putting in the effort because you told them to. And then when they put in that effort, they don't they don't see the appreciation from you because you're pissed off already. So you're not going to give them that appreciation. I just see two people that just. <laughs> uh, you know, this is a very strong, I mean, a soulmate twin flame connection. And I feel like you clash with the best of them, but you also have a connection that's deeper than anything that you both on either side have felt before. So even though you piss each other off, you still keep coming back to each other because there's something there. It's almost like a, 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 you know, not to be cliche, but it's almost like magic. You know, you have some kind of magic pull that no matter how far you get away from each other, no matter how much you piss each other off, you always keep coming back to each other because there's something more there. I feel like you're just on this. Uh, I feel like I say this way too much, but I feel like you're on the same book, but you're just on different pages. And it's almost like when you get mad that they're not on the same page as you, they read ahead of you. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they skip ahead and they missed it. They, they missed the shit that you were mad about and they skip right to the next part. And then they're ahead of you. And then it, it, it's just chaos. But the thing that I really see here that really that I really love is it's beautiful chaos. I mean, it's beautiful. You guys have something that that most people would would give anything for. And, it, and it's and it's 
a lot of passion. You know, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love. I mean, I feel like you're very similar. And I feel like that's what, you know, I, I feel like you really don't put your foot down until you're to the point where you're just past being, you know, when somebody's mad about something, they say something and they get it out, they clear the air. Well, I feel like with you, I feel like you just get to the point where you're pissed and that's when you say something and you're already too pissed to be, be, you know, be in the mood to listen to what they have to say. It's almost like you're beyond mad and you go right to pissed and then you're mad. And you know what I mean? You tell them why you're mad and why you're pissed off. They, they put in all this effort to try to make things right. But it, it pisses you off even more because why didn't they do that? Before? Why did you have to get mad in order for them to do that? <laughs> I feel it. You know what I mean? I, I feel this. It's very, it, it hits pretty close to home. Some, some of this read is, resonates well with me. I mean, not all of it, but some of it. But the best part that I see is no matter how much this person pisses you off, no matter how much you get pushed to the edge by this person... Neither one of you won any other way. You know, you, you both know what you want. In the moments of pure clarity, you balance each other out. It's almost like they don't really take things as personal as most people would. And you don't take things as personal as most people would. So you both find a way to get over things very quickly. You know, with, with somebody else, you might have gotten mad and it might have been the end of the relationship. You know, we might have had that tower moment. With this person, you know, they piss you off, you piss them off. But through all that, you find a way back to each other. And we have the ace of wands. It's all about reconciliation. I feel like, I feel like you're getting better together. You're getting stronger together. We have that strength card. I feel like this person doesn't make you weaker. They make you stronger and you make them stronger. And the more, the more, you know, you come to, you know, you clash with this person, the more that happens, the more that bond is, is more evident. And I feel like sometimes you may hate that you love this person and they may feel the same way, but even though, you're still there for each other. You still have something that no one else has given you. And they have something no one else has given them. You have a foundation that's been built. And it's rock solid. And no matter how far they pull away, like I said, that reconciliation, you know, things are always going to get better. No matter how many times, you, you know, you get to the point where you're just done with this person, the next time it takes a little bit more and it's only getting stronger. That's why I feel like this is that twin flame connection. I feel like you both, I feel like both the people that I see before me here had issues with people in the past, you know, individually. People that just couldn't handle what you had to give. And they couldn't, you know, people couldn't handle what, what your person had to give. You know, they couldn't handle this type of energy. But you guys handle it really well because you're so similar. I mean, there is differences and they do collide. But that similarity is what makes you strong together. And I see a very strong and happy future. No matter how much... You collide at the end of the day. They don't want to be with anybody else. You know, you don't want to be with anybody else. Deep down, you both know it. And the more and more we move forward, we start to see that becoming more and more clear. And it's not always going to be easy. But together, you're so, so you know, together, you're stronger. There's a very strong bond here. 
And like I said, sometimes their cockiness, there is a little bit of cockiness with that King of Wands. Like I said, I, I do feel a little bit of that, you know, you don't appreciate what I'm doing for you attitude. And and I feel like the reason why you don't appreciate it is because it's in a moment of you're already pissed off and you don't want to you don't want to hear that from them. They're doing things that they think you want them to do in the moments that you know in that moment that that heated moment and then they're just and then you just feel like they're doing it because you told them to. You don't want them to do it because you told them to. You want them to do it because they want to do it or that's how they feel. But I, this is this is a journey that's going to continue. And I don't really see an end in sight in this journey. You know, I really do feel like you have a I mean, this is your person. I really feel that. And I feel like... I feel like it's only going to get better. They're going to understand you better. You know, and, and I feel like... There's going to be... There's going to be times when... When this is the last person you want to see. But I feel like that's... That's so... That's not going to last. You know what I mean? You know when you get to the point when you're pissed off at somebody and you just don't want to see them right now? It's almost like, you know, get away from me. I don't want to see you. But then shortly after, you're like, well, all right, well, where are you? <laughs> Come be with me. You know what I mean? And I feel like they get that. And I feel like that's why you have such a strong connection. Because the two of you have something that most people don't understand. And that's what makes it so great. Now, with this person, you know we got fire. We got Aries, we got Leo, we got Sagittarius. Very strong Sagittarius energy here. Um, you know, we have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some Cancer, some Pisces, and we'll throw in some Scorpio. Because I feel I felt a little bit of Scorpio in there, and it might be just the Scorpio moon. But, like I said, it's... You know, sometimes, I mean, some relationships are based at a lovey-dovey all the time. And some relationships work better in a different way. And I feel like you just work different and you, you work better in a different way. But you're both compatible in the way that you understand that it's not permanent. That you get over things quickly. And that you move on from it. And every argument makes you stronger together. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.